How you doing? Are you well? Today I'm doing some training with Bruni, a new dog that I'm borrowing. I'm using the TT15 tracking collar from Garmin. So it's got a function on it with a tone, like a eh, when you push a button, and also it's got these prongs that gives them a little bit of electricity if you want to give them a little tickle. And that's all I will be giving her. I think this goes up to 18, or maybe 16, but she can hear the thing rattling and she thinks she's going for a hunt. Good girl, it's okay. Anyway, uh, I'll be feeding them now before I walk them. Some people like to feed their dogs at the same time every day. I don't do this. Why don't I do this? Because dogs are like wolves. Their DNA is 0.2% that of a wolf from its nose to its bum. And wolves, they don't get fed every day at the same time. They go out and get a kill, they park up, they feed on it, they chill out, you know, hang around with each other, smell each other's bums, go pee on stuff, chew a bit more, try and crack open a few bones to get some marrow out. And then they rest up and then they'll go for a hunt again. Domestic dogs are not much different. So I alternate their feeding time. That way they're never sure when they're going to get fed. They get fed sometimes twice a day, sometimes nothing on summer days. I might miss a day and have a gap day. Other days and it's winter and it's cold. I'm monitoring their condition, feeding them appropriately, but I'm never feeding them at the same time every day. Because this makes a pattern that they get into. And I don't want them in a pattern. I want them always on their toes, attentive, waiting to see what their master's going to do. Right, I'll stop yakking and we'll go out for a wee walk. Today I'm doing some training with Brinny. Ta-da! The Alpha 100, which is also a fantastic shock collar, tone or vibrate. Now these wee dogs, where is she? <whistles> Brinny come! She doesn't come on a caller, but she's learning quick. Good girl! Good girl! Good girl, good girl! Here she goes. That's a good dog. Good dog. She's getting better. So when I praise a dog, I always go in a high-pitched voice, and this is one of the reasons that female trainers often make better trainers with dogs. It's a fact. You can look it up. They just use that high-pitched voice, like, good girl, good girl. And the reason is that dogs respond to that. It, it kind of mimics the high yips of uh, approval that puppies do with each other. Uh, they, you know, excitement, it's, it's a positive vibe to them, whereas the growling represents a growler dog would do. So when she comes, I make sure that I give her that. Good girl. There she goes now. Now the reason I'm going to use the old hot collar is yesterday we nearly had a disaster. I've had her for five days and I've been training her every day. Yesterday she ran into the neighbours right across chasing her hair, wouldn't respond. Get them behind. Wouldn't respond. So right now she wants to go. Heel up. If she goes, I'm going to zap it. I've only got it on very light. I've only got it on three. This goes up to 16. And I've put it on my own leg at 16. Like I tell you, that's like hitting the ball fence. But three is hardly noticeable. It's just a slight... You, in fact, you wouldn't notice if you didn't know you told you were being doing it. Get in, Brent. So she wants to go. And if she does, I'll... Get in behind, Brent. Get in behind, Brent. Good girl. Good girl. She's only just learnt that command. Get in behind. Good girl. Very clever dogs. Now she knows what a tickle is, she's had one before at three, and it didn't really bother her much, but uh, she will get one if she takes off. Yesterday she went over to Harry's and she chased the hare right around then, she went down and almost crossed the main road down here which you could spell death, so that's why this is life saving. And I only use the hot collar on this type of training and stock proofing, so they don't hit a sheep waiting for the command. Waggle! And how far she's going to go. She's not allowed to go to Harry, so we've got to make sure she doesn't. And boys, Brittany, Brittany gone. Brittany come! Brittany come! Brittany come! This is Zap now. Good girl! Just go up to her now and she's straight away back. Good girl! Good girl, Brittany! That works good. You know what electricity is, don't you? Good dog. Wagging the tail. She really wants to go, this gives fantastic control, really happy on that. Anyway, that's the hot collar working in motion just there. Stopped her from going over there and disappearing, which she wants to do, she still does. He's a filthy mangy mutt, rolls in rotten guts. Still we call dog the man's best friend. Well, she's no pedigree, she likes to drink where people poo and wait. Still we call dog the man's best friend. He dropped the turd on mother's roses To father's garden hoses Still we called all the man's best friend She 
They came from the poor side of town They came from the bloody pound From the bloody pound Sheep shit. He likes to munch, then he'll spew it up and eat it for lunch. Still a weak old dog, a man's best friend. He'll look his bum and clean himself, then come and kiss you on the mouth. Still a weak old dog, a man's best friend. When he wants to come inside and you let him in, you can guarantee that he'll want to go outside again. If you invite your boss for tea, sure he'll try and hump a knee. Still we call dog the man's best friend. When you dress for town in your tidy drawers, he'll jump up with these muddy paws. Still we call dog the man's best friend. Looks as guilty as sin when she takes a poo, but you do her on a public in front of you. Still we call dog the man's best friend. But if you locked him in the boot of your car with your wife and went off and got drunk, who's going to be the happiest to see you? Later on you get back and open the trunk. He'll stay loyal if you're rich or poor, ugly as sin and you fart and snore, and that's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man's best friend. These guys don't stop, eh? Just full on. And Poe naturally wants to dominate Bruni, being a bitch, because Poe is the alpha dog of the pack and the alpha bitch. This thing is a godsend. I've had no control over her the last two days. And she just knows now that uh, she doesn't come, she gets a slight tickle. She doesn't like that. These guys just go all the time. Really. It's awesome with dogs. These guys get on really well for two males. Never had a fight yet. They play all the time. They need to stick together a bit more when they're hunting. Just spotted someone down the front of the farm there walking a dog. Right there. So, call the dogs back in because to them that's the outside of their territory. And we don't want to scrap, and Poe's already seen it, haven't you Poe? Hell yeah, she can see that <laughs> amazing eyesight. You stay here Poe. She's on guard all the time. Good dogs. Bruno, you're a blind old bastard. Mind you, if the dog came up here, he'd just probably lick it. It's people he wants to eat, not dogs. Good dog. Never fights other dogs. Unless he's been fought, of course. We don't get a lot of surf around here, but when we do, all the surfies come in. Anyway, I've just been talking on the phone to Wade Waller, the breeder of this little dog. You? And you know what happened? While I was actually having conversation, this happened. That's a full grown male. It's a big, bloody, big male. It's a big rabbit. She grabbed it, and I've got the hot collar here. Normally I would have given her a wee tickle. I'm only running on three, which is pretty low, but she grabbed this bloody rabbit and caught it and killed it. And I thought I heard a, a noise that sounded like someone rubbing a, like a cork on a bottle, a sort of squeaky sound, which is obviously it dying. And then uh, I'm talking to Wade, next minute she comes and drops it at my feet. So, um, prey drive is good, but it's just the wrong species. And I'm not really even going too hard on about it, because I don't want to upset her before we get a few pigs under her belt. The dogs. They're such neat little dogs, eh? Just crackers. I love them. Easy dogs to handle. You can pick them up. Not, this dog only probably weighs about 12, 15 kg. She's pretty light. And she'll sit on your shoulders, which I think is brilliant. This is something that was taught by her previous owners, James and Tamara. I'll pop her up and show you how it works. She just sits there. 
And this is a good thing to train a dog because if it gets ripped or hurt or anything in the bush, you want to carry it out. If you've ever carried a dog in your arms, it's hard yakka, but up on your shoulders it's easy. I'll pop her up there. Good girl. Look at that, eh? Hands free, just stay in there like a, a shawl and easy to carry. Good training. Look at a little circus dog, aren't you? You can't even feel it, it's like having a backpack on. I'm trying to catch another rabbit. Anyway, that's the end of this clip, boys and girls. Uh, we're gonna go home and cook this up now. Be good, if you can't be good, be careful. We'll see you later. <whistles> Feet come, pace come. Pace come. Be come. Hurry up. I'll let her down. Wake up. Little Bruno enjoying his apples. Look at these dogs, you just go out and have a bit of a look. The main dog's just hanging around. It's Poe. He's just sitting there going, nah. That doesn't mean shit though. Something down the gully. I've got them pink dog blues. Hear me weep and hear me talk. I'll put these guys back in, I think. Something I've got here. them pink dog blues. Hear me weep and hear me talk. Let me play the toilet first. My freeze is all empty and I don't have me any pork. My cash, you done run dry. But cream and milk is all been taken. Oh my cow run dry. But cream and milk is all been taken. And if that dog don't catch no hog, then I won't have me any bacon. My cat won't catch no rats. And my donkey, he refused to walk. No rats and my donkey refuse to walk. I got them pink dog blues, cause my dog won't catch me no pork. Strawberry patch won't give me no jam. Well, my hand she won't lay, and my strawberry patch won't give me no jam. I got no bacon in it, and I sure as hell ain't got me no ham. The rats will lay out corn, and my tractor got stuck in the barn. Tractor got stuck in the bar. My frustration's getting high, cause that dog still ain't caught no hog. I got them big dog blues, help me weep, help me talk. I got them big dog blues, help me weep and hear me talk. Come on, up you come. Good dog. Be calm. Yeah, pig's got a huge advantage in this sort of scrub. Be calm. Be still trying to get up here. Be calm. Be calm. Come on. Be calm. Come on. All right, go on. Good boy, B. Come on. Just like that, all the way down. Right to the bottom, just thick as. It's a pig down there, but they just can't get to it.